And I'm going to leave you with this story that I close every meeting with because it captures Hillary better than anyone I know. About four months ago, sometime in the summer, this guy called me that I went to college with, and we're still real close, and he was coming to New York from Nevada, where he lives, with two friends. He said, I'm bringing these friends on business, but we want to pay Donald Trump's fancy golf course bill, and it's close to your house. And he said, you used to be president. Surely you can get us on this golf course. <laughs> so I said, yeah, I can get you on. And I said, used to be is the right phrase. I'll go with you. So I take them out there and I get them a caddy because it's a, quite a hard course. And we played the first hole and they walked off the green. And I was walking off the green and for the only time in my entire life, I was physically restrained by a caddy. This guy grabbed my arm and said, wait, don't go. I got to tell you something. I said, okay. He said, you don't know me, do you? I said, no, sir, I don't. He said, that's because I'm not really a caddy. So I thought, oh boy. <laughs> this guy's... Somebody I made mad when I was president, a comedian, a terrorist, Lord knows what he is, you know. He got very serious and he said, uh, I do this to supplement my family's income, but in my real life, I'm a captain in the New York City Fire Department. And he said, before 9-11, you know, most of us firemen, we thought we were Republicans. I mean, we're mostly Irish and Italian ethnics. We're real clannish. We already got what we need. We all got good jobs and retirement and health care. And we just loved all that macho rhetoric of the Republicans. He was really straightforward. And he got serious. He said, but on that awful day, when we were going through the ruins of the towers, just desperately looking for somebody still alive, and in the days afterwards, when we were crawling through the rubble, just trying to find some human remain that could be used to identify people, to give their families some closure, he said, your wife was the first person who knew that many of us would get sick and some of us could die because of what we breathe doing our duty. Remember what was in the air? Remember those pictures? All that stuff in the air? PCBs, asbestos, benzene, three well-known cancer-causing agents. He said, but the president most of us supported, they said, oh, you couldn't get sick. The whole White House said, in no way in the world you're going to get sick doing that, breathing that stuff. Then they even got the EPA to come down and say we couldn't get sick. And the only time he smiled the whole time, he said, of course, every time the EPA came down there, they were wearing masks. He said, but she knew, and she fought for us. From that day to this day, she has. And because of her and the people that stood with us in the house, some of us who would have died are alive. And those who died, at least their families know that their country valued their service by giving them all the help they could. And this guy said to me, I don't know so much about politics anymore, but I know this, that's the kind of person who ought to be our president. Someone who knows what it's like to be me and everybody like me in America that can be overlooked. And I'd do anything I could to elect her. I was sitting there dumbfounded and tears were rolling down my face, and I didn't know what to say. But I do know what to say to you. This is a very great country with massive opportunities and profound challenges. It needs the best leadership it can get. Do I think it would be good if we had the first woman president? You bet I do. I am the grandson of a woman who worked for nearly nothing for decades and the son of a woman who worked for much less than her male counterparts made. And the proud father of a daughter we have tried to convince could do anything she wanted with her life. So yes, I think it would be good. But by far the more important thing is that if you caucus for her, and if she's nominated, Everything I know about politics convinces me that she'll win and win handily next November, and she will be a magnificent president. Please, please help her. Thank you. God bless you.